there are few creatures that symbolize the beauty and ruggedness of Canada's Arctic as well as the snowy owl. When winter temperatures drop as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius, thick white plumage camouflages and insulates the snowy owl right down to the tips of their toes. Their bright yellow eyes and size make these owls a striking sight. One of the largest owls in Canada, the snowy owl can weigh up to 2.5 kilograms and have a wingspan of up to 1.4 meters. That's about this wide. Males and females vary in size and coloration. Mature females are larger and have more dark markings than the nearly pure white mature males. Snowy owls are found in the Arctic around the world during the summer breeding season. While some owls do remain there year-round, others will fly south during the winter months, where they will most often be seen in open treeless areas like farm fields, marshes, prairies, and shorelines. In Canada, snowy owls can be found in every province and territory. Although the snowy owl can hunt in dim light, it's unlike most of its relatives in that it likes to be active during daylight hours. This makes sense because in the Arctic, daylight is continuous throughout much of the summer. Snowy owls have excellent hearing and have incredible eyesight. Their binocular vision allows them to detect small moving objects at great distances. Snowy owls fly silently thanks to comb-like feathers along the edges of their wings and their powerful talons help them to dispatch prey animals that are up to three times their weight. In the Arctic, snowy owls eat primarily lemmings, but also Arctic hare, various birds, mice, voles, and even fish. In their southern ranges, snowy owls will continue to prey on various birds and will also hunt squirrels, prairie dogs, groundhogs, muskrats, and rabbits. These solitary birds of prey spend much of their time hunting, as each single bird needs to consume the equivalent of 1,600 lemmings per year to survive. Fully grown snowy owls don't have to worry much about predators. But when they're young and unable to fly, they're most commonly hunted by arctic foxes and jaggers, and sometimes also by wolves, wolverines, or even polar bears. Breeding season begins in May, when snowy owls will pair up and choose a nesting site with abundant prey. They usually pick a windswept hump or outcropping on the otherwise mostly flat landscape. The female will then scrape out a shallow bowl-like depression to lay her eggs. If food is plentiful, the female could lay as many as 11 eggs, but four to seven would be a more typical clutch. The eggs are laid two days apart, and in about a month, they begin to hatch two days apart. Because the owlets grow so quickly, there's an obvious difference in size between siblings. The young owls are dark gray in color, so as not to stand out to predators, and will become lighter and lighter as they mature. The mother's job is to keep her brood warm, so she rarely leaves the nest and the father's job is to defend the home territory and hunt for food for his family. Even wolves will be dive-bombed if they get too close. Owlets will take their first flight when they're about seven or eight weeks old, and before their first winter comes, the young owls will head south to where it's less challenging to survive. Snowy owls may live as long as 23 years, but do face their biggest threats when they head south into more populated areas with buildings, roadways, and power lines. Climate change may also be a threat to the snowy owl, as it could reduce available food sources. Throughout history, the Inuit peoples of Canada have shared territory with snowy owls, and because of that, these owls appear in their legends, art, and traditions. This is a traditional handcrafted Inuit toy made of fur. It's called an ukpik. In Inuktitut, ukpik means snowy owl. Snowy owls are welcome neighbors wherever they are, because they help to keep the rodent population in check. It's important to give these owls lots of space when you see them. Because it's more than likely they're busy hunting and your presence could scare away a much needed meal, making it difficult for them to survive. And remember, no matter where you live in Canada, wildlife is close by, so get out and see it. And in the case of the snowy owl, from a safe distance.